everybody. I just wanted to show you a couple of journals that I made up, real quick and easy ones that you might want to try as well. I got this uh, journal idea from Amy V Loves TV on YouTube, and she had made her mother a Mother's Day uh, little mini, and I just had my Paper Chick stamping group over, and we did this project for Father's Day. I used the Stampin' Up, um, I think it's all, all Seasons Greetings, they have this, I can't remember the name of the stamp, and I this is the Tim Holtz um, Hanging Signs die cut for the Sizzix. And I just thought it made the cutest little mini. I loved how Amy had done hers, so I tried to make it more masculine. So I uh, just put Happy Father's Day on the front, used real masculine paper on the background, and a, um, a dragonfly inside. I put family and my oldest son. And then on the back, this is going to serve as my greeting card to my husband. So um, I'm going to get my oldest son to write something, and then my daughter... And then here it says Cherish, and then Happy, and then my youngest son, and he's going to write a message on the back. And then this little quote says, Families are like fudge, mostly sweet with a few nuts. So I put that key there, and then a little sticker, Father Knows Best, on the back. It was super, super easy, super, super quick, and kind of an alternative to a greeting card. So I made that one. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going on a really cool trip with my mother. We're going to my birthplace, which isn't that um, exotic. It's Minneapolis, Minnesota. But the story's really funny. My father played for um, CFL, the Canadian Football League. And it was American Thanksgiving. And uh, my mom wanted to go home and be with her mother on the American Thanksgiving, but she was pregnant with me. I haven't been back there since I was born there. Uh, they had no intentions of me being born in Minneapolis. So the plane had to land. It was kind of an emergency birth. And so the only time I've ever been to Minneapolis is to change planes, but I've never actually been to the city. So I'm really looking forward to going. And the fact that I'm going with my mom is even cooler. So um, my cover here, I use Martha Stewart travel paper. And on the cover, I just put returning because I'm going back to my birthplace. I put a frame there, and I think I'll take a picture of me and my mom and pop it in there. So I just put a little piece of printed paper in there just for the time being. Um, here I've got, um, I got these at Michael's, and this one says Passport to Adventure, and Namaste, because I just love that saying, and this really pretty crystal bead and some fiber and ribbon and then I put some stickers here this one says vacation because it's a vacation for me although it's my mom's going to a conference there and then on the inside what I did from my baby book which is very vintage if you know how old I am I photocopied the original ticket our flight ticket when I was born and it's got my mom and the flight information on there and then it says the Swedish hospital I don't even think it's there anymore in Minneapolis I think it's the Hennepin Medical Center now but anyway it's got the address so we're going to try and find it and um, this was in my baby book and it was my mom journaling my birth story so I thought that was really cool so I photocopied it and I stuck it in here and I'll bring that along and I'll share it with my mom. On this page here, I just made a quick simple pocket and I put two tags in and I distressed them. And this is the new Stampin' Up! Uh, travel um, stamp. I love it. And then I put journaling on the back and this one says travel on it. And then here I just put another little mini clip. I love these cute things. I got them at the dollar store and a uh, cellophane bag with some journaling tags and I put lots of clips in here because you never know what you might pick up while you're there so there's lots of pockets in here clips and this little monogram is a monogram I found in a vintage uh, sewing stuff I remember this on my mother's sweater and uh, what's funny is my name is Monica Mercedes Miles, born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So the M always 
was significant to me and my mother's name is Marianne so and we're both going back to Minneapolis Minnesota so I thought this M should be on this booklet <laughs> um, this page is just another page for journaling and I use that same stamp set this is a compass stamp and uh, some stickers that I got at the dollar store and I just ran some kind of rough journaling lines on there and more clips this page is a little die cut from uh, Sizzix. Nothing much in it, but I'll probably find something that I want to put in it. And then two little tags right here. This one says Detour. And this one says Journey. And then, of course, more clips. On this side, I kind of left this just free for some journaling. And this page I use the big, the top note die cut uh, from Big Shot and it's got another tag with airplanes, a jet plane flying over, if you can see that. And then journaling spots in the back and then more clips for tags. Here we have just another plain journaling page, very similar to the one you just saw before. And on the very last page there's another pocket here and a sticker and some more clips and I covered the back with the same as the front. So I made this really 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 quickly last night and because uh, I always travel with some kind of journal I just have to and I hadn't made one so then I really wanted to get this done. Didn't take very long either and if you notice the mini is in the shape of a suitcase and this is from Stampin' Up, these chipboard minis. Uh, I think it's so cute. What I did is I used Anirondack, um white paint to paint the handles. And then all I had to do was just cut the printed paper to fit the rectangle. Because I was in a hurry and I didn't have time to cut all that out. But I think it looks great. And then I inked it up with Distress Ink. Also when I go away, I always try to have a whole bunch of stuff in one place. So I found this really beautiful leather satchel at our Goodwill store for $4. I love it. So inside of it, I've got two pencil cases. So this one has just got some markers and a little mini stapler a date stamp, some glue and scissors, and there's pencil there too, and this fuzzy one has a couple of inks for the date stamp, some Seven Gypsies travel tape, I got that for Mother's Day, I really like it, um, some baby wipes to clean the ink, uh, Stampin' Up snail adhesive, some little... Uh, so you know how you get ticket stubs and things that you want to keep and then I can put them right into my scrapbook right away and then when I come home all I have to do is develop my pictures, pop them in and my travel scrapbook is ready. So what I do is I carefully put my mini in first, then the pencils, and then this fuzzy thing and pack it up and just lay it on top of my clothes in my suitcase. So there you go. Here, just wanted to show you a couple of minis that I made and I'm really looking forward to my trip and um, I'm hoping to meet up with Roxy Fur from YouTube because she lives in Minneapolis, so that'll be kind of fun. And so I'll see you when I get back. Bye-bye.